Just Tim Black? Yeah, who's this? Oh, I'm just a just a fan. I'm just a fan. I'm calling from Stockton, California. All right. Well, just a fan. I'm saying I have. <laughs> I, 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 you can call me just the Black Eyed Trump guy. But I'm I'm a, I'm a big huge fan of you, H. A. Goodman, and Debbie McSigman. Wow, brother! I was calling to say that you speak truth to power. I seen your uh, uh, videos you did earlier today on Bernie Sanders, and I know it must have been hard. But you were speaking truth to power. I'm one of them people that was on a Democratic plantation, and then this election cycle got off when I seen the corruption, and I voted for Donald Trump. It's people like me. I'm a deplorable. I watch your show. I love it. You tell the truth, and that's what I try to do with people I talk to. Let us know we all have a middle ground. We all know that the Republicans, the Democrats, they're all corrupt. And that they're all trying to, like me, I'm on the deplorable side. We got the Republicans trying to suppress us or fit us in. We're all just people tired of this system. So I feel that maybe deplorables and progressives, real progressives like you, Tim Black, and H.A. Goodman and W. Decision, could if we could get into a dialogue without violence or yelling and stuff like that with the real people, the people that's about the country, where we can meet in the middle, we could start a real people's party because we are the masses that are disgruntled. I'm one of the, I voted for Barack Obama twice. Hillary, Hillary, not Hillary, but Bill Clinton once, Al Gore. I was a Democrat my whole life. First time I voted Republican was for Donald Trump. Not because of I'm a racist. I'm a black dude from Richmond, California, living in Stockton, grew up in the hood. But because he was talking about the economic problems and the stuff that I felt was important to me, not the identity politics or who's getting stuck here and there and there. I feel everybody's an American. We can all help each other. Mm. So I just wanted to say, you know, you do great work. I'm a big fan. It's a lot of us deplorables, you know, in our circles. We watch you. We support H.A. Goodman. We made videos. You know, we're not YouTubers or nothing like that. Even I made a video for you against H.A. Goodman. I don't even like to talk, as you can tell. And I just wanted to say I've been watching you for over a year now. And everything you say, you back it up, and you're what I consider a real progressive. If the movement was what, like you and the way you see it, where we can talk, where we can dialogue, where you have, like, like you want to reform the police. I'm going to reform the police. Where we want to have, like me, I'm not against illegal immigrants. I just believe everybody should get documented. I don't want everybody kicked out. But I'm also looked at the Hillary Clinton and the WikiLeaks and, and the part that bothered me because my wife was a Bernie supporter <sighs> was the fact that Bernie caved. I actually sent you in your uh, YouTube in inbox and I asked your permission where you had made that video. I actually used it. No, I didn't monetize it. I didn't make the money. And said what I felt that you couldn't say because you're so nice. Because, you know, you're so nice and balanced because to me I felt that and I could be wrong that Bernie was controlling opposition for that growing progressive feeling mm -hmm. and that it took so big, it blew so big out of proportion, and it was beautiful to watch. And then right when it came time, and then I watched the DNC, I actually made a video, and I was on the Trump team side of it telling people to get out of Philly. Well, you were in Philly telling them, hey, you're in a blackout bubble. They're not letting none of your videos get out. So us deplorables were making videos saying, hey, they're doing you wrong. So, but for Bernie to get up there and give the delegates away and not fight for the people and not acknowledge the DNC lawsuit and not handle, and all these people, my wife came home defeated. And I'm sitting there going, he's a traitor, he's a sellout. And I watch people like you, Debbie first, because she really, really went into the voter fraud part of it on her series, have people in their common strain are hitting them up defending Bernie and getting on you. And the only way I feel that this people's movement, because I feel I'm a part of it, even though I'm on the deplorable side, because I want this government corruption and money out of politics, is for us to realize on every side we need to clean our own backyard. Bernie's not the savior of the movement. Like the guy you said you're going to have come on and the Justice Democrats promoting people. But I feel me personally, Tim, you should run. It should be a regular person like me and you that gets a grassroots following and run and take these positions in the government. Anything else is going to be corrupted. And we're seeing it on both sides. Look at me. I'm a deplorable. I got Jared Kushner. 
and all these policies that McMaster and all this stuff. I didn't want them bombing Syria. I didn't vote for Donald Trump for that. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it happens on both sides of the spectrum. So what I'm seeing is the way that they divide us is by keeping us at each other's throats. Oh, you can't talk to him. I am the total antithesis of what you don't think a Donald support, Trump supporter is. I'm a black guy from the hood. How I'm talking to you right now on my weed, but I'm a Donald Trump supporter. You get what I'm saying? I'm not no redneck. I, I got Mexican punish. You know what I'm saying? I'm good at, at this, but they make us stereotype to where we can't even talk to each other. Right. And I, you go to Berkeley, like in down the way in Berkeley, and this, these people fighting each other and not realizing that this stereotype on both sides is what's keeping us apart from coming together and seeing what can we meet in the middle of. And once we get to that point, we'll have a movement that will be bigger than the Democrats and the Republicans. Mm. And it will truly be a people's movement. But I ain't going to take up all your time. It's just a pleasure to even talk to you Brother. because you just you speak truth to power, man. I really enjoy your work. I keep watching. I keep uh, subscribing. I donate when I can. I love you, Tim. I love you back, brother, man. This is this is why I do it, man. You, brother, you don't know how much I need to hear that, man. I need to hear that big time, big time. Only thing I want to say, man, that I got to I gotta say this, and it's not a negative. It's just more, let me explain something, man. I don't know what you, I, you don't have to call me progressive, man. And I think I speak for H.A. and for Debbie. It's not what we, look, we don't even want names. If I could get through this whole thing, friend, without being called progressive or deplorable or Bernie bro or none of that, right? Because it's just truth. You know, I hate that I have to have a label. I hate it, man. So, and I know like people need shorthand for like what you think or what you believe, but look, I'm open, you know, you know, you, you just testify. I'm open to all people all colors, all orientations, all thoughts, all politics. We want solutions, man. So so that's it. And I don't want to ever turn anyone off, ever. Now, you know how I feel. But when they see that name progressive, they start thinking, okay, this guy is this way. And they assign all those stereotypes that you just said. And I, I push back against that, man, because we're so much not about that. You know, if you if you want to change, like if you agree on certain things, like, you know, whatever we agree on together, we can fight for it together. We don't have to agree on everything for us to stand for something. Right? So, man, thank you so much for that call. It's so damn important. I'm trying to tell you, it's everything. It's everything. 